I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. <clears throat> I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. There's no backup? The backup is the two-day hike out of here. So, that's a no? It's easier for me to send all the lookouts out to check the status of the wire in their areas. Yours is a good hike away. If you find any portion of it down, I can try to get a hold of a ranger and he'll bring someone in to fix it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Okay, will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Porta potty. Okay. No one better fuck with my shit. of intense. Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. It seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Whatever. <laughs> kind of creepy. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Absolutely sure. Would you? All right. 
right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. What the hell? Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oops. Whatever. She's acting weird. Shouldn't have mentioned it. <clears throat> what is this? Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. This is kind of creepy. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. <laughs> uh oh. Broke. Supply chest. Let's get some supplies.
Dave. Hey, yo. That's what Delilah says. Anything in here? That's interesting. <laughs> Creepy. Who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. Son of a bitch. A beer can. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. What? Right. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are going to pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I, I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make Sweet. a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Head west. Ah, they might have left the trail. Can 
me a dirty beer can. I'm gonna roll with West. My dog is barking in his sleep. She scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Tempted to check it out. Let's do it. I I don't trust the light. Nothing in here. I'm checking it out. Need to know if I should be freaked out by Delilah or not. Quite a ways, isn't it? Do you see anything from yours, like, you know, the clues as to where they could be? <laughs> clues. I really like your enthusiasm for mystery. I'm just doing my job. I like it. I, I do. I just, I, I can't wait for you to give these girls a piece of your, our, mind, minds, collective. But no, no clues. I, I can't see anything from here. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in 100 million years. You're going to need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. How do I get across? Can't feel it over. Something feels fishy here, but I'll trust her for oh, two seconds, two seconds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Like, let's rock and roll. I need a rope. What the hell? There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Ah. Nice. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Oh, huh. wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella <laughs> you had a thing with? Mm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? That's a bug. Nice. Boss? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks I reckon like it's so. to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Where's Five Mile Creek? Flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. 
Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Flapjack. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. You're beautiful. I love you. <laughs> Will you marry me? Jeez. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people and I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades. And when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. No, I didn't break any hearts when I left. So you guys broke up? Something like that. And you're just bursting at the seams to talk about it. Oops. You really are very perceptive. I know. It's one of my many gifts, along with accents and impeccable night vision. Incredible. Why, thank you very much, Governor. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Ah, oh, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. This is the best way. going. I gotta get the smoke plume. Oh, nice. that way. What do I do now? Man, what's that smoke? You know, if it makes you feel any better, you're a member of a diverse club of lookouts that have come to the thoroughfare after a breakup. There was Vernon, whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned <laughs> the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. Okay, that jockey story is actually about you, huh? <laughs> no. 
But can you believe that? It's crazy, right? Well, so then who? I'm the rare breed. My heart's intact. That doesn't mean I didn't join up to get away, but there's more to life than sex and romance. Mm, you know, I don't believe you. Why put on such a show? There's more to life than sex and romance. Get bent. <laughs> it's not a show. It's your business. Just don't lie. Maybe I'm horribly disfigured. Are you? <laughs> Play your cards right, and maybe you'll find out, fella. Ooh. Where? Oh, yes. I'm getting there. We meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh... Well, for starters, she's my wife, not my girlfriend. Oh. She's actually very sick. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Oh, nice. What a gun. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Or blue and white. Susan Lake. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower.
point for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? What? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. So we're here. Look, just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. Yeah, I should see this. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some <laughs> sort of riddle? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Awesome with an Oculus. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. There's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It is bear country. and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets. So they <laughs> did break into your tower. Looks like. Can I take them? I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, there are Take lots it. of little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. They're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Henry, did you attack? 
attack or do anything that could be perceived as an attack no. to these campers. Ah, it's too quick. I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right. It's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. 